What is up, best ones worldwide? It's the best one, Donnie here, back with a brand new wrestling figure video. If you're not a best one yet already, recommend you to hit that subscribe button now, turn on the post notifications, because of course you already know the grind is real. And before we get into this unboxing, if you're looking for a wrestling podcast to check out, recommend you guys to go check out the We Are Wrestling Podcast. You can watch it on YouTube, or if you don't have the time to go on YouTube and you'd rather listen to it, you can listen to it now on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. So, this past weekend, I got the opportunity to go to the most magical place on the planet, and that is Long Island, New York. And if you guys have not checked out the vlog yet for my first time going to a Creative Pro show yet, go check it out on the We Are Wrestling channel. It is up in the card right there if you want to check it out. Because I got the opportunity to meet MJF yet again. Because in case you guys don't know, MJF is a We Are Wrestling maniac and I actually gave him a present. And I actually ended up getting a few things signed from him. And one of the things I decided to get signed from him when, you know, I went to this Creative Pro show was my AEW, Shop AEW, one of 3,000 MJF exclusive figure here. And this time he didn't do it in Sharpie! So our relationship, we're building it one day at a time. So he actually used the paint marker on it. Such an honor. It looks way better than... I'm going to grab the closest one near me. Looks way better than that. Way better. Way better. You see, me and MJF, guys, we are... We're building our relationship, guys. We're getting there. But, man, I don't even think I reviewed this figure. I think the video got corrupted when I, you know, ended up getting this figure. But, man, here it is. We got, you know, the nice black and gold foil on, you know, the box here looking great. We have the Shop AEW 1 of 3000 exclusive sticker on the left-hand side. And we have MJF, you know, with the scarf. And he's got the Better Than You shirt with his face on it. He's also got the microphone in the other hands. And we even have the blue trunks on MJF, which looks very cool. And we even have the sick signature in orange, which, lo which looks very good with the exclusive unrivaled collection on here this is the fifth shop AEW figure and my only shop AEW figure which for now that's how it's gonna be because the other ones don't really interest me and then on the back we have MJF you know screaming he's got you know his autograph there on the side which looks very cool and I'm very happy to have this figure now in the collection looks very good and moving on now to the next figure this one, I was not expecting to get signed, because believe it or not, I was going to get my Walmart exclusive MJF signed, but last minute I decided to spend $60 on this 1 of 3000 MJF Chase figure. And this has been on my bucket list for a long time. My goal is to get every MJF wrestling figure out there because MJF is my favorite, you know, wrestler right now in all of pro wrestling. And we ended up getting this for only $60, which for me, I felt like was a steal, especially, you know, getting to meet him. I kind of got a re really good discount on this to get signed. So with that being said, here it is, guys. We got the nice, you know, black and gray foil on, you know, this figure since it's a part of the unmatched collection here. We have, you know... The rare 1 of 3,000 sticker right on the corner there looking good. And I love this chase. And the reason why, guys, I love this chase is because, for me, a chase needs to be a moment. A one-time thing. And this was a one-time thing. This was a part of the time where MJF was a part of the inner circle. And he teamed with Santana and Ortiz. Which I really like this moment. That's how chase figures should be. But here it is, guys. We got, you know, MJF with the nice, you know, smirk on his face with the proud and powerful headband on, which looks great. And we have, you know, MJF with a nice scarf around him with the microphone in the hands. 
And we have, you know, the unmatched collection with MJF, you know, posed on the corner there, looking great. And then I love the picture that they got on the back of this with MJF, you know, posing during this one-off match that he had, you know, during um, a random episode of Dynamite with his autograph. This was a part of, you know, Unmatched Series 2. This was the Chase figure, and now we got it in the collection. Not only do we have it in the collection, but we got it signed personally from We Are Wrestling Maniac, MJF. Before we get into the last MJF figure, we have to hit a detour because we ended up finding a Walmart exclusive Wardlow figure. And this one I actually found out in the wild when I went out to Newport, Rhode Island. Which, if you guys have not checked that vlog out, it is on the channel. And I actually found this out there first time. And I was very excited to find this Wardlow figure in the wild. Because in my area, I have not been able to find this yet. Walmart in Newport, Rhode Island. The section's not big, but it looks like they actually have stuff. Oh my god, they have it! I finally was able to find one. Of course, not when I'm at home, right? Not when I'm at home. This is one of those stock sections we've seen. That's what I'm saying. Hold up. We got Series 97, Rhonda. First time I've seen Chainsaw Charlie out in the wild. Let's see. Oh, but they do have plenty of AEWs. I have a good feeling. Regular Thunder Rosa. She's gonna go look for Squishmallows. Let's see, come on. Ricky Starks, we just met him. Nyla, Brian Cage. Hangman Rosa, Neck Dam. No Chase. There's Cody. And we do have a bunch of basic figures here. I do see a bunch of different ones. Oh, these champion battle packs, uh, not the same. Looks like we have top picks for Randy Orton. And, ooh, some ultimate additions down here. We got Brock Lesnar. That's one I've been debating on, but I don't think I'm going to get it. And Ultimate Warrior, I do have that one. Finally, guys, two Wardlows they have left. So we're definitely getting this. But here it is, guys. We have, you know, the Unmatched Collection Walmart exclusive Wardlow. On the, you know, top there, we have the Only at Walmart sticker, which is a nice, you know, addition. We also have, you know, the gray foil on the box here. And we also have... Ooh, hold up. Wait a minute. Damn, guys, we actually got, I just realized this, wow. So if you look at the AEW logo, that is a messed up box right there. Because if you look at that E right there, it is overlapping the W. It's not aligned, which I am very surprised to see that. Wow. So we actually got a messed up box, which that I think does have some value, I think, in the wrestling figure world. Let me know if it does. But yeah, guys, we have, you know, the AEW on the top there. And then on the bottom here, we have Wardlow with the, you know, screaming expression, which looks very nice. We also have, you know, the serious face if you want to end up changing the head sculpt on it. And we have this nice purple and black gear, which looks very nice. And I really like that we got the knee pads and we got, you know, the boots as well. We have the Wardlow screaming on the corner there. And then on the back, we have Wardlow posing, posing, which looks very cool. And this is now the third Wardlow I have in my collection. And I really like this one a lot. I really do. And I think that, you know, these Walmart exclusives, I know that there are a lot of them are repaints, but... It's crazy how, like, I, because I've been doing this 100 video thing, it's crazy how AEW figures, you're able to find them out in the wild all the time. Chases, probably not all the time, but you're able to find the GameStop exclusives. You're able to find the Walmart exclusives. 
But when it comes to WWE, you can never find a Ruthless Aggression figure. I don't understand. I really don't. But there it is, guys. We got Wardlow right there looking great. One of my favorite wrestlers. I'm definitely going to be getting that signed pretty soon. But our last MJF figure we got, we have the Walmart exclusive MJF figure. Finally, let's get it. Damn. This Walmart is loaded. Damn, so many hangmans. And this one I was going to get signed, but I ended up, you know, finding the chase, you know, proud and powerful one. So I went with that one over, you know, getting this one signed. But here it is. We have, you know, the Walmart sticker there. We have the nice, you know, black and gray foil on the figure looking great. And we have MJF, you know, with the serious pose. And we even got the ring on this figure. I just realized that with the hand. And we also got the microphone in, you know, as in the accessory corner. He's not holding it this time with the figure, which looks very cool. And we have the scarf. We have the nice, you know, lime green gear, which looks great. And we have a nice, you know, different MJF pose on the corner there, which looks great. And then we have on the back MJF, you know, with the gear that he's wearing on the figure and the autograph. Looking great. But man, we are really building up this MJF collection, guys. We really are, because we got freaking all three of these now signed, which is, you know great and honestly i cannot wait for his dog collar match figure to come out with that cm punk hopefully one day i can meet punk and mjf yet again and get that you know art signed which will look great but guys let me know in the comment section below your favorite mjf figure that AEW has made so far mine has still got to be the unmatched series 2 with, you know, the robe. I really do like that figure a lot. But, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button now. If you're not a uh, best one yet already, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. The link's down in the description below. You can go follow me on my social medias and other YouTube pages. All that down below. And, of course, to all the best ones out there worldwide, we are taking over. Peace.